Grand Rising, welcome to Healing Hype Man. Message of the day. <clears throat> Let's just get right into it. Let's see what's coming through. I can use the Energy Oracle. And let's see what comes out today. Indecision. Cornucopia. Healer of the ages. Okay, so right away I got, there's, you're indecisive about certain decisions, but cornucopia is like, is like the 10 of cups, right? This is like, you have reached the the ultimate level of healing, right? Some of you very well could be indecisive about, about what your Ten of Cups wants to be. You could very well be indecisive about what your happy ending looks like. Um, not sure which direction to go into, if you're making the right choice to go down a certain path. Uh, and the healer of ages just lets me know that you, you're a healed being, right? You're making your choices, you're making your choices from a different space. Right? You wouldn't be watching me if you if you're not on some sort of healing journey, you know. So it's okay to not understand what your ten of cups is, what cornucopia looks for you. But this also tells me that the decisions that you make are also being spiritually guided, and I think you guys are all very well well aware of that, right? A lot of us are tapping into our intuition. Um, Jupiter moves into Pisces today. Today's the 29th. So the, your, your, your decisions and choices that you make, right, and what you're committed to is coming from a, a different space. It's coming from a healed version of you. It's coming from a different perspective. It's coming from a, a being that can, that can understand what tarot cards are. It's coming from a being that read, that understands what astrology and the planets moving and how they impact my life and how they impact your life. And at the end of the day, you might not be able to understand how to make certain choices, but you at least spiritually are guided, whether you go look for a reading, whether you just have an inclination that that's the direction you want to go to. And some of you are looking for confirmation, right? So sometimes some of you come to this channel to look for confirmation on decisions that you have to make. But at the end of the day, you kind of already know the answer, right? Which is why I'd stick to confirmation readings. You have a good inclination and I'd rather you be spiritually guided in that and 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 make the decisions based on things that you already feel and you already know because that's where you really know that's best for you right we're not we don't make dumb decisions here anymore we're being spiritually guided for some of you you actually could also be healing like generational wounds and family family choices that were made in the past um a healer of ages right you're healing generational trauma and bringing things to the forefront, right? So a heavy emphasis on healed. You, you've done the healing, you're doing the healing, you will be doing the healing, and the choices that you make might actually heal other people in your life. They might actually heal other people's timelines because of how you are making your choices. So, you know, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your spiritual self. Don't doubt your decisions that you're making. Let's kind of dive into this, Let's see what this is about. Eight of Cups, looking for something deeper. Absolutely. That's what spirituality is, right? We're looking for something deeper. We're looking for, for you know, eight cups is, is great. Eight cups, you know, family has been built for eight cups, 80 years, 800 years. And now there's something more that you're yearning for. Six of wands, success. You going on that venture to figure out things on a deeper level will actually work out in your favor. Ace of swords. And it's going to be pretty clear. Like I said, you you, you want deep shit. You like deep shit. We all like deep shit, right? We like it deep. We like it. We, you know, uh, today's today's like been a Pisces day. So if you're a Pisces, we think things on a deeper level. I have a lot of Pisces traits. A lot of planets are in my 12th house, which is the house of Pisces. Jupiter's moving into Pisces. <clears throat> deep shit that's working out in our favor. And it's going to be clear, right? You might be in in, in a situation right now where you're not quite sure. I think that's going to be cleared up for you. It's actually going to work out in your favor, Six of Wands, and it'll be clear. And you'll really see the physical manifestation behind healing because I think you'll physically be able to see the work that you have done and the choices that you have committed to 
in whatever your cornucopia might be, your end result, your your life goal, your mission on per, uh, your soul's mission, your your family goals, what your ten of pentacles looks like. <clears throat> You really, the more you dive deep, the more Piscean you become, <laughs> tap into your Pisces energy, check check your chart, see wherever the your 12th house is, see how what planets are in your 12th house. Um, also for this Pisces, for this Jupiter into Pisces, check your, <clears throat> check your 12th chart, see how many signs you have in Pisces, and then also check op op the opposite of Pisces. I don't know what the opposite of Pisces is. I don't have my chart with me. But you want to look at that and um, where your Jupiter is, of course, because that's what's going to be expanding here. Definitely seeking more, right? Knight of Wands, Wounded Warrior. We've dabbled in a lot. We have dabbled in a lot of our wounds, right? Knight of Wands is like back and forth energy. <clears throat> you, But you're also, you're fighting for something. You, you have, you have, Put up with a lot of, of bullshit in your life. Um, and it has made you wounded, but it doesn't make you weak. And you know what attach, what you want to be attached to and what you don't want to be attached to. Capricorn energy. I think we're in Capricorn season now. Happy birthday, Capricorns. You know what you want to be attached to and what you don't want to be attached to. You coming from a space of being wounded and, and being exposed to so much right dabbling in so much things so many different aspects of your life has definitely put you in a position that you know what you want to be attached to you know who what kind of person you want to be attached to what kind of energy you want to be attached to what kind of energy you don't want to be attached to right there's there's a big emphasis of now of like you know you know a lot you know what you like what you don't like what's for you what is not for you what is good for you what is not good for you this also tells me here at the same time i'm going to say it how i see it some of you could have dabbled in a lot of toxic addictions, a lot of things that were just not for you, and it has wounded you, but it also has made things clearer for you. Sometimes you got to get put into shit like that. Codependent relationships, addictions, it could be anything, like just things that you are attached to, right? Now, addiction, right? Don't just think of like drugs. It very well can be drugs. I wouldn't be surprised if there's folks on here that battle drug addiction, but you want to know what the opposite of addiction is? It's not sobriety. It's connection. Which is crazy how this card, the devil card, Capricorn energy, is about attachments. It's about connections. Who do you want to be connected to? What do you want to be connected to? Right? You could either you're either going to be addicted to something, and the opposite of that, why you're addicted, you use you 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 look for relationships, you gravitate towards things, you get obsessive towards things. Pisces energy also gets obsessive towards things. You get obsessed towards things because what is the ultimate thing you actually want? Is you want a connection. Whether it was generational wounds of, you know, lack of father, lack of family, um, no father, no mother, uh, obsessive mother, and or not obsessive mother. It, 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 there was a, an aspect of connection that, that resulted into you sourcing some sort of addiction or attachment, attachment styles, right? So because of you being exposed to all of that, yes, it has wounded you, but you, it has also cured you. You know what you want to be attached to and what you don't want to be attached to. So the decisions that you're making are coming from a healed space. And <clears throat> cornucopia, you actually know what you want your end result to be. You know what you want your ten of cups to be. You know what you want your ten of pentacles to be. Or you have at least have in a direction of what you don't want to be attached to. Let's pull a fallback card here. Gratitude. Remember when remember when you wanted what you have now? Give thanks. Your grateful heart is a magnet for love and abundance. Be grateful for those wounded experiences because it has made you the person that you are today. And I bet you you like that version better than the old you. Be grateful for this and for all of this. Embrace change. You've outgrown your comfort zone. Time to explore new possibilities. This is your confirmation to move forward and explore those new opportunities. You are healed. You're good. You're good. You're set, right? Trust me. You're watching me. You are good. Whether you're on day one or month one or month five or year five, you're good. You always will be good and you always have been good. Sometimes you just need someone to hype you up to tell you that you're good. 
balance. Slow down, lighten your load so you can float. You understand what things, what balance, what balance means, and I think you really do, right? What a balanced relationship looks like, what a balanced friendship looks like, what a balanced situation looks like, what a balanced home looks like, what a balanced you looks like, because you can see the output that you're producing. You can see the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you think, the way you do everything. It's coming from a different space because you understand balance. You're grateful for everything that has happened in the past. You embrace change. I actually said this today, a couple of readings. I think spiritualists, we like change, that death card energy. We like change, knowing that the planets are going to move and things are going to change. It actually excites me knowing things are going to change and I don't know what the outcome is going to be. Right? I, I could never say that. You know, people, I think there's still a lot of people that are like, I don't like change. I don't want to move. I don't want to move. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I'm all for it. Change it up. Change it a couple times if you want. I'm for it. My name's Alvin Catalan. I'm present. I'm done speaking now.